Greetings, friends. This is Steve Dupuy for the Bible News Prophecy Program with Dr. Bob Teal. Dr. Teal, we're getting close to the start of another calendar year, and some are starting to prophesy about the Great Tribulation or the return of the Lord. Is 2024 the year of the Great Tribulation or his return? No, absolutely not. Yet some have claimed so. Now, nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus' disciples specifically asked him about how to know when, when that would happen. And he provided lots of details. And several of those details have yet to be fulfilled. But sadly, many overlook what Jesus actually taught. But instead, they point to other things. What are the things are they trying to point to? Well, since 2008, I've denounced various ones who pointed to various calculations and other ways they figured out when they think this is going to happen. Some try to tie in the blood moons and that we denounced that. Some also try to tie in Shemitah year and the Jubilees. We denounced that. Uh, some talked about planet Nibiru. Uh, some talked about uh, the eclipse of uh, 2017. Some looked at something called the sabbatical code. Some actually looked at the Quran. Various ones looked at different things, and, and, as well as even Nostradamus. But they were also wrong. How were you able to know all those predictions were false? Well, according to the Bible, there are various events that had to occur that hadn't happened yet. We have to base the timing of the Great Tribulation on what the Bible actually teaches. The reality is there are sufficient clues in the Bible, such as in the books of Daniel and Matthew, that make the prospect of the Great Tribulation happening in the next three years impossible. Yet we've seen events that are showing that we're getting closer. What events do you see that indicate we are getting closer to the Great Tribulation? Well, if we look at the Apostle Paul's writings in 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 1, and think about the social deterioration that's going on now, we can tie these things together. Paul wrote, but know this, in the last days, perilous times will come. Now, Jesus called those times the beginning of sorrows. They precede the Great Tribulation. And he talked about people being lovers of themselves and lovers of money and proud blasphemers, boasters, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, heady, haughty, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness. They like to act like they are fair and nice and full of love, but denying its power. And Paul wrote, from such people turn away. Now, with all this going on, could we see the countdown to the Great Tribulation 2024? That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to, to Jesus' disciples in Matthew chapter 24. And start with verse three. It says, now as he, that's Jesus, sat on the Mount of Olives, the place I've been to twice. The disciples came up to him privately saying, tell us, when will these things be? What will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. For many are going to come in my name saying, I'm the Christ and will deceive many. So there'll be people claiming Christianity who will deceive many. Now, like you and I, the disciples wanted to know. But Jesus said, be careful about being deceived. Now, many have been deceived. Now, let me read one headline that I ran across recently. Great Tribulation, February 4th, 2024 to April 8th, 2027. But that's mm -hmm. not possible. Okay. And this week, I ran across a posting by somebody by the name of uh, Ed Burr. Let me read this, what he posted. Jesus will return and the church will be raptured in the seventh and final sabbatical year of the 70th Jubilee in the 77th year of the fig tree, which after the founding of Israel, I guess, is what he's pointing to. Uh, in 1948, the final year of the 70, 700th Olympiad, seven years in the heavenly revelation, 12 signs of 2017, seven years in the great American apocalypse, or excuse me, eclipse of 2017, the 40th biblical year from the last perihelion of Halley's Comet, uh, the greater light above the head of the Virgin in Venus, entering her body on the Day of Atonement, and at the last trump, at the Jerusalem sunset, ending Biblical Tishri 10 on September 12, 2024. Is the 700th Olympiad significant in some way? <laughs> no, not on this it's not. Nor is trying to tie it in with the Jubilee or the Day of Atonement which is Tishri 10, by the way. 
Uh, okay. One of the reasons to mention is, by the way, the Day of Atonement for 2024 is on October 11th at sunset, not September 12th. So he's mm -hmm. off by a month there. And as far as Halley's comment, uh, the great American eclipse of 2017, et cetera, those are simply, those and other signs in the heavens he mentioned, those are not pre-tribulation signs that Jesus referred to. The biblical reality is that the necessary events Jesus and Daniel mentioned that need to happen first have not happened. Well, what biblical events did Jesus and Daniel mention? Well, in Matthew 24, let's start with uh, verse 6. Jesus said, you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There'll be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, like the perilous times Apostle Paul mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then they'll deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. You'll be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Many will be offended and will betray one another, will hate one another. And then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, and we're seeing that, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the worlds as a witness to all nations. And then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are Judea flee to the mountains. Now, Ed Burr's list isn't included in that. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus did point to signs in heavens, but let's find out when he did. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be dark and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven. The powers of heaven will be shaken. There's where we see signs in the heavens, not before. Now that said, there is no possibility the great tribulation can happen in 2024. Mm -hmm. And those who rely on the Bible realize this. It's only those who overlook scripture, rely on their own views, false traditions, or calculations to make the mistake of thinking the great tribulation can or even could happen in 2024. Well, those are some really insightful uh, scriptures from Matthew, but what about Daniel? Does he give us any insight? Yeah, Jesus pointed to Daniel, and <clears throat> one of the reasons the Great Tribulation can't begin is that in Daniel chapter 11, Daniel wrote about one called the King of the North who's supposed to rise up, as well as one called the King of the South. And in verse 27 of Daniel 11, he said these kings will be bent on evil. They'll speak lies at the same table, but it shall not prosper. For the end will still be at the appointed time. Well, that deal hasn't happened yet because we don't have a king of the south or the king of the north yet. Uh, the, there is something called the Union for the Mediterranean, and they have a, a northern and a southern president, but they don't meet the criteria for the king of the north or the king of the south. Nor, by the way, does do I believe that the current president of the European Union uh, meet the description. Anyway, since the Great Tribulation is not going to start before there's an actual King of the South and King of the North, it can't be yet. It's not yet. Tell us more about those two kings. Well, before they arise, one of them is called a prince. We can read about that in Daniel 9, 26 and 27. It says, and the people of the prince who is to come will destroy the city and the sanctuary in the end of it will be a flood, and until the end of war, desolation is determined. Now, the people who destroyed the city and the sanctuary, that was the Roman Empire under uh, General uh, uh, Titus. So uh, people who are going to be in the territory of the old Roman Empire, somebody called a prince is going to rise up. Verse 27 says he's going to confirm a covenant for many with one week, whether he makes it or just agrees to it or just agrees to part of it, Scripture doesn't say. Okay. Because of that, a lot of people won't understand it. It says, but in the middle of the week, he'll bring an end to the sacrifice and offering, and on the wings of abominations will be one that makes desolate. And that's what Jesus said. He's talking about the abomination of desolation, spoken of the Daniel the prophet. Now, a lot of people have concluded that this is probably some type of a peace deal. And as far as how long the deal will last, the idea by mo most prophecy watchers, which is correct, is it's a seven year period of time. And if you're, by the way, if you're a Roman Catholic, uh, back in the third century, policies of Rome said that this one week talked about seven years. 
So be breaking it in the middle is three and a half years. So you've got the seven year period of time that will be broken uh, uh, in the middle. But as of this instant, that deal does not exist and has not been confirmed. So because of that, we've got to add three and a half years to now. So there's no possible way the Great Tribulation can start before uh, 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 2027 or 2028. And in Daniel chapter 11, 31, it also talks about this abomination of desolation. And this is where uh, the deal is broken by the then king of the north. So the person who was the prince will become the king of the north. Now, with all the turmoil we've seen in the Middle East lately, you know, at this instant, it's possible we could see such a deal confirmed in 2024, particularly if Israel and Iran escalate direct actions, military actions against each other. And we could also perhaps see uh, Syria involved, Hamas, Hezbollah, other Palestinians, other Arabs. Uh, but we don't know for sure yet. But we, what we do need to do is what Jesus said in Mark 13:37. that is, watch. Would this indicate that some from the Arab nations would comprise the king of the south? Yes. And you can actually look at those nations or territories, if you will, in Daniel chapter 11, verses 40 to 43. And some of them are also mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 30. So tell me, Dr. Teo, why do we think we're even close to the possible start of the Great Tribulation anyway? In addition to some of the signs that Jesus talked about starting to occur, early Christian tradition indicated that uh, God would allow humans to live their own way under Satan's influence for 6,000 years, and then Jesus would return to set the kingdom of God. And Apostles Peter and Paul said that we were in the last days when Jesus was here, and roughly you had uh, each day representing 1,000 years, which is scriptures about that. This would point to the 6,000 years ending roughly 2,000 years after Jesus was crucified and resurrected. Now, many believe that was in 31 AD. It maybe could just be as late as 35 AD. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, and this tradition is docked as, as God's plan, then we would expect Jesus would return in 2031. And if you back off the seven years from that period of time, that would bring you to 2024. Now, while we're not Protestant, many evangelical Protestants believe that the tribulation lasts seven years, with the first three and a half years being relatively fine, but the last three and a half years more horrifying. And they've got various books and stuff about that. Because again, if you back off uh, seven years from 2031, that brings you to 2024. Mm -hmm. Now, with that understanding, it's possible that the seven year period before Jesus will return could start as early as the fall of 2024, but we have to see certain signs to know if that's the case. Now, Philadelphian Christians, we are supposed to understand tribulation-related events and how they tie in with Daniel, yet most who profess Christ don't get it. Anyway, after the uh, sacrifices are stopped, the fleeing will happen, and then the Great Tribulation begins. Matthew 24, 21, then the great, there will be great tribulations, not been since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And that, again, that can't happen before 2027, and I suspect that may be a little too early as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this, the great tribulation itself will not start in 2024, but if you're willing to believe the Bible, it's uh, possible that with the seven-year deal, it's possible that that could start the countdown of the Great Tribulation in 2024. But as Jesus said, we need to watch. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Teal. For more interviews with Dr. Teal, in addition to written as well as audio articles, visit our website at biblenewsprophecy.net. This is Steve Dupuy for the Bible News Prophecy Program.